Welcome to another episode of Max 101. Today I'm going to be talking about why they don't just extend the Max to four cars long. The blue line is by far the most populated line in the system. And yet, just like all the other lines, it only gets two car trains. Well, why couldn't you just build onto the platforms and make them so that they can extend up to four cars long and run the trains as four car trains? Well, here's why. It is 100% possible to couple up to four train cars together and still have it function like a normal train. Just take a look at San Diego, for example. They have similar trains. They have the Siemens S70, which is our Type 4s, but they're a, little bit, they're a little bit modified on the ends. The train cars are a little bit shorter, but they hook three train cars together, and it still functions like a normal train. Sometimes you'll even see a single car train running in Portland, a Type 2 or 3. Well, those are the only kinds of trains that can run as single car trains, so they do it. The Type 1s can technically run as single cars, but they don't because of the stair steps at the doors, and so it would not be wheelchair accessible, and so you'd have to hook a Type 2 or 3 onto it because they have the wheelchair ramps. Type 4s and 5s cannot run as single car trains in service because they only have driver cabs on one end. So we're going to get into coupling trains together later, but when you actually couple them, there's something called the coupler isolation that you need to take into account. So what we're going to be talking about is known as an electrical couple. So when you cu actually couple the trains together, you need to make sure that they are electrically coupled. This sends information from one train car to another. Let's say I got into my driver cab and I was going to operate the doors. Well, if I was just running as a single car or if I was not electrically isolated to all the other train cars connected to it, if I pressed any of the door buttons or if I turned on the intercom or whatever, it would only do it for the cab that I'm in. So it would only operate the doors on the train that I'm actually in. So you have to make sure that they're all electrically connected. That way when you push the door open button, it opens the doors on all the trains. It makes announcements on all the trains that your intercom works on all the trains. So you can do that up to four cars. So if you did, in fact, hook four trains together, you extended all the platforms to be four car lengths, all the stuff that you need, um, it would work. You could hook four trains together and you could make it work. You could open the doors, you could do announcements, you wouldn't hardly need to change anything. You would just have to build on onto the stations. Great. So what's the holdup? Portland. That's the holdup. Portland is the holdup. Portland has relatively small city blocks for a city its size. They're only about 200 feet in length. Well, one max car, they vary depending on the type, but let's say it averages to about 95 feet for one train car. Well, you hook two of those together, you're at 190 feet. So you don't have any more room. And that is the sole reason why you'll never, hardly ever, have trains. Well, you won't ever have trains longer than two cars on, the, on any line. It's just not possible. Portland city blocks are not big enough. But there is, in fact, a solution. If you do what New York or Chicago or Boston or whatever does, well, you build underground or above ground. That way you don't have to deal with street traffic, or it doesn't matter how long your trains are. So if you built a subway underneath Portland, you could hook four cars together as long as you extend all the other platforms to be four cars long, and it would work. Solution. There you go. Build a subway. That would absolutely work. It'd be pretty costly though, especially having to extend the Washington Park station underground because it's already a station in a tunnel and having to extend that would be a nightmare, especially since they are... By the time this is uploaded, they might be done with the elevators at Washington Park, but they've been working on one set forever and so <laughs> just to have to redo the station again. But you could do it. Mostly. So you extend all the stations, one by one, then what do you do when you get to Hillsboro? What do you do when you get to Hillsboro? Hillsboro city blocks aren't much longer than Portland's. They're a little longer, but 
There's nothing you can do. And what about the Hatfield station? It's right around a corner, so not only do you have a corner to worry about, but Main Street's right behind there, and you have no room. You wouldn't want to cover up Main Street, so what do you do? The only solution, build underground or above ground. You'd have to probably build it elevated. And that would cost a lot, that would disrupt a lot of things. All for just four car trains. Would it be worth it? Maybe. Blue Line does have the highest ridership, but is it practical? I mean, we can work with having two car trains. The problem is the trains are not frequent enough. If the Blue Lines were to instead be running every four or five minutes apart, then sure, that would ease up crowding, but you'd have to get a ton of operators. You would also be driving like between Gateway and Rose Quarter, you've got the blue, red, and green lines there, so you've got a lot of train traffic, and the more trains you cram together like that, the more delays that may happen. Think about it. If you were on a bus that only ran every hour, even if it's delayed, there's not another bus until forever, so there's going to be hardly any delays. But if you're running buses every two or three minutes apart, then if one bus is late, it's going to delay like 15 other buses. Um, same thing here, if you run the trains every few minutes, then if one thing goes wrong, it's going to back up 20 trains or whatever behind it. And so, again, there's trade-offs to everything, but ultimately the reason why trains are not four cars long is because of the size of Portland City blocks. Well, that will be about it. Sorry this kind of got all rambly. <laughs> Get used to that. Um, that is going to be it for this episode, and I will see you on the next one.